I have to respond to this. <laughs> I have to. Because Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez failed to address it. <laughs> what am I talking about? I'm talking about a meeting that took place recorded by C-SPAN. And in this video that I saw floating on Facebook, there was a lady in the audience who is a huge fan of Ms. Cortez. And while Ms. Cortez was on the microphone, she was listening to what this young lady had to say. The lady stood up and she started talking about, you know, her admiration for the for the green deal and other things that Ms. Cortez stands for but the one thing that had me in stitches earlier today is when the lady continuously kept bringing up her <laughs> her way of thinking about eating babies she said we have to start eating babies we need to get rid of them we need to do something about the population. We need to start eating babies. I was on the floor. I, and, and Alexandria, I'm just gonna call her AOC. AOC was on the stage looking at her and the lady in the audience just kept going on and on about that. And when it was AOC's turn to respond, she did not address it. She completely <laughs> avoided it. She, she, she acted on stage like as if the lady never said anything like that. Instead, AOC decided to talk about climate change. Now, even though that was drop dead hilarious in my opinion it is also very very sad tremendously it, 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 the, the sad part about it is the fact that when people tend to use their platform to uh, come out and say certain things intentionally or even in unintentionally. Sometimes those who are doing the speaking will be surprised at the ramifications. And I believe that AOC was definitely caught off guard when that lady in the audience kept talking about, we have to start eating babies. What, where did that come from? I believe that came from a video made by AOC Correct me if I'm incorrect what I'm about to say, but I believe that I saw a video about AOC talking about abortion and uh, the fact that uh, we need to uh, focus more on us and less on making babies. I believe she said that. And this lady in the audience, not only did she agree with what AOC said, but she ran with it and took it one step further. Now, now that is what you call the dangerous zone because you just never know what a person uh, will say or do based upon what they hear from their, uh, <laughs> from their idols, so to speak. So, my point to this, as you can see, I'm still laughing about it. Even though it's, it's funny, it's not funny. Because the, 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 part that is, the part that's not funny about this situation is that you have many people, you know, not just in politics, but in many other categories, in, 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 excuse me, in many other fields, who are just coming out with things and then when something happens that has something to do with what that person said 
You know, in other words, what I'm trying to say is, is that if I come out with some crazy statement, most likely someone is going to run with what I said and then just amplify it. And that is what's happening. That is what took place uh, between AOC and that lady in the audience. And that's what's happening across the board now. You have the media who is out there uh, promoting social conformity, causing the public to hate Trump, particularly those on the left. And when they come out with their propaganda, you have people out here who are not willing to think for themselves. They rather let the idiot box think for them. And when that happens, there is a slight possibility that the person who is receiving the information from the idiot box will just not accept, not only accept it, but just go with it. I mean, run with it, amplify it, make it bigger than what it is. And that could be dangerous. I mean, somebody could just come out with a shotgun at a hospital and start shooting babies because they heard something that AOC, that AOC, AOC, <laughs> trying to get the words out, that AOC said or someone else said about abortion and not bringing any more infants into this world. And it could be anything else. Somebody can say something like, we need to really uh, focus more on Christians because their views just they are not right so what would happen well what happen is is that some hidden fanatic will take that and run with it that's my point about this video be cautious with your delivery think before you present because you never know who's listening and you never know what he or she might do as a result. Christians, yes, come out and be gentle as a dove, but slick as the serpent, according to Christ. But be prepared when someone steps to you. Always be ready to give an answer, a reason for the hope that lies within you. That is the main core of my uh, of this video be ready politics religion whatever don't just throw it out there think that thinking that you could just get away with it no be ready for a response this is the preacher man signing out may the lord jesus christ bless you all and your families and in christ's holy name i say amen Peace.